What is Vue.js and what are its advantages over other frameworks? Vue.js is a progressive JavaScript framework used for building user interfaces. Its advantages include faster performance, easier learning curve, and smaller size compared to other frameworks like Angular or React. What is the difference between vShow and vif directives in Vue.js? vShow and vif are both used for conditional rendering in Vue.js. The difference is that vShow only toggles the display property of the element, while vif removes the element from the DOM entirely. How do you create a new view instance? A new view instance can be created using the view constructor. The constructor takes an options object with data, methods, computed properties, lifecycle hooks, and other configurations. How does Vue.js perform data binding? Vue.js performs data binding using a combination of object observation and DOM manipulation. It creates a virtual DOM to track changes in data and then updates the real DOM accordingly. What is the life cycle of a Vue.js instance? The life cycle of a Vue.js instance consists of several stages, including creation, mounting, updating, and destruction. Each stage has its own set of life cycle hooks that can be used to perform actions or make modifications. What are computed properties in Vue.js and how are they different from methods? Computed properties are values that are dynamically derived from the component's data. They are different from methods because they are cached based on their dependencies and only re-evaluated when necessary. What is the difference between one-way and two-way data binding in Vue.js? One-way data binding only updates the view from the model, while two-way data binding updates both the view and the model. Two-way data binding can be achieved in Vue.js using the vModel directive. What are directives in Vue.js and how are they used? Directives are special attributes that can be added to HTML elements to provide additional functionality. They are used in Vue.js to perform tasks such as conditional rendering, event handling, and data binding. What is a template in Vue.js and how is it used? A template in Vue.js is a block of HTML that can be reused across multiple components. It can include dynamic data bindings, directives, and other view-specific syntax. Templates can be defined inline or in a separate file. How do you use Vue.js for event handling? You can use Vue.js's Vion directive to attach event listeners to DOM elements or you can create custom event handlers using Vue.js's $emit method. What is the purpose of a computed setter in Vue.js? A computed setter allows you to define a computed property that can also be used as a setter function. This can be useful for creating two-way data bindings in your Vue.js application. What is the difference between the mounted and created lifecycle hooks in Vue.js? The created hook is called before the instance is mounted to the DOM, while the mounted hook is called after the instance is mounted. This means that in the created hook, you can manipulate the data before it is rendered, while in the mounted hook, you can manipulate the DOM after it is rendered. How do you create custom directives in Vue.js? You can create custom directives in Vue.js by using the Vue.directive method. Directives are used to add behavior to DOM elements and can be used to create reusable code. What are mixins in Vue.js and how are they used? Mixins in Vue.js are a way to share functionality between components. They are defined as objects and can be added to a component using the mixins option. This allows you to reuse code across multiple components without having to duplicate it. What is the difference between props and emit in Vue.js? Props are used to pass data from a parent component to a child component, while emit is used to send data from a child component to a parent component. 
This allows for communication between components in a Vue.js application. How do you use Vue.js with a backend framework like Laravel? Vue.js can be used with a backend framework like Laravel by creating an API that provides data to the Vue.js frontend. The frontend can then make requests to the API to retrieve and manipulate data. What is the purpose of vbind in Vue.js? The vbind directive is used to bind an attribute or a property to an expression in Vue.js. This allows you to dynamically update the value of an attribute or a property based on the data in your application. How do you use v4 to loop through an array in Vue.js? You can use the v4 directive to loop through an array in Vue.js. The directive takes an expression that evaluates to an array and iterates over each item in the array. What is the difference between vmodel and vbind in Vue.js? vmodel is used for two-way data binding, meaning that changes in the input field are reflected in the data property and changes in the data property are reflected in the input field. vbind is used to bind an attribute or a property to an expression in Vue.js. What is the difference between the before destroy and destroyed lifecycle hooks in Vue.js? The before destroy hook is called immediately before a component is destroyed, while the destroyed hook is called after a component is destroyed and all its directives and child components have been removed from the DOM. What is the purpose of a Vue.js transition and how is it implemented? A Vue.js transition is used to apply animation to elements when they are added to or removed from the DOM. It can be implemented using CSS, JavaScript, or a combination of both. What is the difference between vshow and vcloak directives in Vue.js? vshow and vcloak are both used to conditionally show or hide elements but vcloak is used to hide the element until the view instance has finished compiling the template, while vshow toggles the element's display property. How do you use Vue.js with TypeScript? To use Vue.js with TypeScript, you need to install the Vue class component and Vue property decorator packages, and then define your components using TypeScript classes and decorators. What is the purpose of the Vue.js router and how is it implemented? The Vue.js router is used to manage client-side routing in a Vue.js application. It is implemented using the Vue router library and allows you to define routes and their associated components and navigate between them using a programmatically or through links. What is the Vuex state management pattern in Vue.js and how is it used? The Vuex state management pattern is used to manage state in a Vue.js application. It provides a centralized store for all the components in an application and allows you to define mutations to change the state and actions to commit mutations. Why is it worth subscribing to our YouTube channel? Our YouTube channel provides valuable and informative content on a variety of topics including expert interview questions and answers that can help viewers prepare for job interviews and improve their skills in various industries.